there's always talk about gear ratio, what kind of reel, a pitching reel, a flipping reel, a skipping reel, but we never talk about specific reels for our spinning rods. Those spinning reels are more important than those casting reels are. There's certain situations with the spinning reel, finesse fishing in particular, where you need to have certain factors covered with your spinning setup. I'm paying attention to the size, I'm paying attention to the weight, and I'm paying attention to how well that drag works. This video is sponsored by Waterland Fishing Optics. Waterland is my sunglasses sponsor, guys, and they make awesome fishing sunglasses. These sunglasses were designed by fishermen for fishermen. These are gonna help you see into the water. It's gonna help you ski grass lines. It's gonna help you see fish. And if you can see that stuff, it's gonna help you catch more fish. They got glass lenses, polycarbonate lenses, bunch of different frame colors. They got men's frames and women's frames. My wife has a pair now and she loves them. So head over to waterlandco.com, use discount code LUNA15. It's gonna help you save 15% off. Again, that's waterlandco.com, use my code LUNA15. Generally, when we're fishing a spinning setup, it's finesse fishing. The fishing's tough. We got light line, we got light weights, we got light rods. We have all these different things that are at our disadvantage. Having the right spinning reel, not necessarily brand, not necessarily model, but having a quality spinning reel is gonna counteract a lot of those disadvantages and help us catch more fish and land more fish. And you want something with a very good quality drag. You don't want something that's gonna stick because a lower end reel might have a sticky drag. You don't wanna be fighting that fish, that drag is going and then all of a sudden it just sticks and then you snap that line because you got a light line on that drop shot. So the reason that I pay attention to the weight of my spinning rail is because something that's too heavy is going to overweight your rod. It's gonna be out of balance and it's gonna take away some of the sensitivity that you have in that rod. A properly balanced rod with a light reel on it is gonna be the most sensitive that it can be. And when fishing those light weights down on the bottom, feeling those rocks with that small tiny weight, you need something sensitive so that way you can feel it on the bottom and you can feel everything you need to feel and you can feel the difference between a bite and those rocks. That's the key because if every time you feel a rock, you think it's a bite and you're setting the hook, you're not as effective down there as you can be. But when you can tell the difference between the bottom composition and a bite, you're gonna be much better at getting fish hooked and getting a lot more bites. So one of the reasons why I pay attention to having the right size reel as well, I like to say, like I said, in that 2,500 to 3,000 size, is because it pulls in a lot of line. Having a little tiny trout reel isn't pulling in a lot of line for every turn of the reel. You wanna have something that brings in a lot of line. It's gonna help you get to that hook set a little bit faster, and when those fish are swimming back at you, you're able to reel up that slack, and keep some tension on that fish to keep it from throwing your hook. So having the right equipment, right size, right weight, and right drag are all key when it comes to the drop shot. The reels that I specifically throw are the Daiwa Tatula LT and the Shimano Vanford. I don't have a reel sponsor, guys, so those are literally the reels that I'm using. I'm paying for them with my own money, and I found that they are great. They have great drag systems on them. They cast a mile, they're lightweight, they pair up with your drop shot rods really, really well. I know that they might be out of reach for some people, so I've included a discount code and a link to them, so that way you can save a little bit of money off the reels if those are something that you wanna look into. So guys, if you wanna learn more about the drop shot, make sure to click the video that's on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.